Hello everyone, my name is Sanja Feng. Today we will practice downward facing dog. Downward facing dog is a very basic but important pose. In a vinyasa flow class, we do it at least a dozen times. Yet it can be very complicated. So today we will talk about the alignment of this pose in detail. Start from child's pose. Extend your arms forward and shoulder width apart. Keep your knees and feet hip distance apart. Tuck your toes under and lift your sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Take a moment to check your hands. Spread your fingers. Make sure that all the bases of your fingers are grounded down so that your body weight is distributed evenly across your fingers. Your wrists will be more stable and less vulnerable to injury. Extend your arms, but be aware not to lock your elbows. Externally rotate your arms slightly so your elbow creases face your thumbs. Widen your shoulder blades and keep your neck nice and long. Relax your head, look between your legs. Keep your spine long and straight, your armpits and chest open. Then press your thigh bones up and back and release your heels to the floor. Keep the pose for five breaths. If your body looks like this, your armpits cannot open to 180 degrees. That probably means your shoulders are tight. Try to open your shoulders with a strap. If your heels are off the floor or your spine is rounded, that probably means your hamstrings or ankles are tight. It's more important to maintain a straight spine than to reach your heels to the floor. Or you may bend your knees slightly, keep your thigh muscles engaged. To open your hamstrings, you can use a strap and stretch out your hamstrings. It takes time, but slowly your body will open up and you will be able to do the fold down dog and enjoy the many benefits this pose has to offer. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Namaste.